Hello folks and welcome. My name is Calvin Hendricks Parker and I'm the CTO here at Six Feet Up. And today we're gonna to be doing a little speed running, but not your normal speed running. We're not gonna speed run a video game. We're gonna speed run setting up a development environment. Uh, we've developed a scaffolding tool that we use internally called SCAF, and we're gonna use it to go from nothing on the file system to a fully functioning development environment locally with Kubernetes running Django, Postgres, Redis, and everything right here uh, live in front of you. We're gonna speed run this just like we would speed run any video game. So what we're gonna do is just to show you that there's nothing going on. Uh, there are no files or folders in this directory where I'm starting this from. I'm gonna run my SCAF command and create a new project called speedrun. And I'll start my timer and hit return and then we'll be in the running in the race. We'll see how fast we can run this thing. Uh, it's gonna use cookie cutter behind the scenes. It's gonna ask us a bunch of questions which should have sensible defaults. Luckily they do, so I can actually go through them real fast. And now it's actually creating a Kubernetes cluster using the kind uh, behind the scenes to build out a control plane where we'll then take our um, dependencies, we're gonna run pip uh, compile against them so we can actually have a fully locked down and reproducible and repeatable build uh, for our developers to use. You can see that going there right now. Uh, we should get the little animation and now when we go into that directory, speed run and run tilt up, we should, I'll fire up a browser here, you can see that's running uh, the backend services and everything are kind of starting up right now. Behind the scenes it's actually building that Django image then it'll push it into the cluster and deploy that for us. We can watch that from the terminal as well. Uh, you'll see it's got a pulling down a Postgres image, it pulled down a Redis image, and then you should see uh, as soon as this is all going here, Postgres is ready, it'll run the migrations, and as soon as we see the okay, uh, which should be happen right now, there we go, a minute and four seconds, folks, and we have a Django instance up and running. Let me go ahead and show that to you so you see that it's actually for real. Here's our Django instance, all up and running with debugging going, no problems there. Uh, let's go into the uh, Django admin. You'll see that's that's all good to go and ready to go. Django admin's right here. Uh, so tilt's all up and going, and we can actually then open up our speedrun uh, local instance. And you can see here, we've got our Django application, we've got our Kubernetes uh, uh, manifests all set up and ready for us to go, all ready for us then to develop locally here with our Django instance. I, I wanna thank you all for hanging out with me. If you wanna check out this repository and do this for yourself, you can do this right here. Uh, just go to github.com slash six feet up slash scaf and there'll be some installation instructions. Uh, it should be a one-liner, copy paste, as long as you've got Docker desktop, in this case I'm using Orb stack for my uh, developer environment with containers, you will be up and running in just over a minute, or maybe faster, let's see if you can beat my time.